Hey guys, we are back for a brew day on the old rig. It's been a while. Um, now we're getting into the uh, warmer weather. I've decided I'll do my first um, pale ale for a while. Um, so I'm going to keep it really super simple. Um, there's 3.25 kilos of Maris Otter. And I'm just going to use 100 grams of Simcoe. So it's going to be a real basic uh, smash beer. It's going to be using the USO5. Cheap and cheerful. So yes, yeah, super simple. And what's, what's even making this beer even more simple is I'm just going to be doing a 30 minute mash, a 30 minute boil. And I'm going to dump the whole 100 grams of Simcoe in um, as one hop addition. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll come back when we do that, and uh, in the meantime, we'll let the uh, mash do its thing. We're about halfway through, um, and we'll see you at the next stage. Cheers, guys. Okay, so the 30-minute mash is up, and I'm just we'll just raise the temperature up, and we're going to do a 10-minute mash out. Um, got a little bit of colour coming through from the malt, but it's still going to be quite a light. Uh, final colour in the beer. So anyway, we'll come back once the uh, mash out's done. Okay, so we've finished the mash out and I've just pulled the grain basket out, got it sitting on the cake rack there, um, just letting as much of the uh, liquid and sugars drain out of the grains while uh, bring everything up to the boil. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that and then we'll come back for the next step. Cheers guys! Also, while I'm doing that, and you guys are probably the same, I'm um, just trying to clean as much of my equipment as I go. So just got the uh, flushed out the pump and got that sterilizing at the moment. Okay, so we're just up to the boil. So like I say, it's going to be a 30 minute boil and I'm just going to do the one hop drop. Um, I mentioned before that I did a 30 minute mash, but in reality it was a 30 minute mash plus a 15 minute mash out just to release as many sugars uh, from the grains as I mentioned. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll come back when I do the hop drop and we'll talk about um, when I'm doing that and why I'm doing it. So we'll see you shortly. Okay, so we're going to do, about to do the one and only hop drop. Let's get 100 grams of Simcoe in there. So the reason I'm doing that is more of an experiment than anything. So I just wanted to see if I can do a single hop drop and get a uh, good hop character coming through in the finished beer. So I'm going to let the hops sit there. So we're four minutes from the end of boil. So that's going to give me about 30, 37 IBUs. And then I figure by the time I start chilling down the liquid, I'll probably end up in the mid 40s. So yeah, I'm hoping that yeah that single 100 gram hop drop will uh, uh, come through in the finished beer. But I guess we won't know until we do a taste test. Um, that's all this hobby is about, or you know, part of this hobby is about experimentation and trying new things. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, I'll come back probably when we've um, we're onto the transfer into the fermenter. Cheers, guys. Okay, the transfer is done. Got a nice heat of foam there, so we'll uh, sprinkle on the yeast. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, why don't I rehydrate my yeast? But I'm basically over pitching. I'm using a full packet of yeast into a half batch, so there's going to be plenty of live cells there. So uh, that's that's basically why I do it. In case anyone's wondering. So cool. We'll uh, we'll get the lid on, and then I'll come back. Uh, and we'll do we'll taste a hydro sample. See how that turned out. Okay guys, so brew day is done, um, went really smooth, I started at 7 in the morning heating the water up and I was finished uh, the transfer by 10am, so 3 hours. Anyway, here is the, uh, here's the sample, quite a pale colour but a nice sort of golden 
some straw yellow, we'll get a get a taste of it. Okay, some obviously some malt sweetness, which is nice, a little bit of breadiness. But the main thing I was um, keen to find out, you can taste the hops, but just to get that bitterness level right, just doing that one hop drop at four minutes, it was pretty crucial time-wise. If I'd left it for five minutes, it was going to bump the IBUs up to near 50. If I, it was like six minutes, it was going to be in the mid to high 60s. So um, happy with the bitterness level. I think that's in keeping with um, a pale ale. So yeah, all in all, good good brew day. I guess the acid test will be um, when we come to do the taste test in a few weeks. So uh, um, once that video is up, I'll put a link below in this brew day video in case somebody watches it a bit later on so they can see the finished product. Otherwise, um, stay tuned and um, we'll see you in a few weeks. Cheers, guys. Over and out.